Hello, welcome to the almost stream. Um, if I can figure out how to do the rest of this. I really don't know what the hell I'm doing, honestly. Okay, I think that is what I need to be doing. Okay, hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, yesterday we were looking at R and being very frustrated with it uh, because, of course, R uh, sucks, basically. Um, today we're also going to be very frustrated with R, um, but I think yesterday we got as far as being able to create a list of days in the numerical format, like one through the number of days that COVID has. Uh, actually, I think the statistics go back further. So I'll just say the number of days, a number of days that COVID goes back. That is definitely before the U.S. infection, uh, but not necessarily uh, before uh, the China infection, which I think was in December. Uh, but, you know, um, that's just for convenience, really, not because I don't I don't I want that data, but it's either in a different format or uh, I'll put some words in here. Um, OK, so I've now uploaded the uh, COVID data. I've updated it rather. Uh, so let's see what I think this. I think I actually did get this to do what I need and, and it doesn't do anything else. So I should be able to do. Um, uh, oh, yeah, and it actually have to run it this way because it's stupid. And I think I'm going to try to avoid keeping data in um, in the BC Git of history and data because it's just it's just a waste. That's why. So we'll do it in the home directory. We might at some point move this to a specific subdirectory. Now, because I did it from the home directory, uh, yep, I'm already going to change my mind. So I'm going to create a directory called R where I always run R. Uh, it is Pomodoro time, but it's the first one, so we're going to skip it. Um, and one probably good way to do this is a, a bad way to do this, but I'm going to do it, um, is to change the, uh, is to, to create an alias here, which I think is in, nope, I never get that right. Where do I keep my aliases? Okay. Um... And I'm going to even put bad idea, question mark. So when I type R, it's going to actually do a CD to the R directory and then start R with these options. Um, and this is probably a terrible idea. Uh, you can still get to the original R by doing backslash R, but this is just generally a bad idea. Um, so why am I doing it? Because <laughs> if you've watched the stream, you know, that's pretty much all I do. Okay, let's make sure that took. Mm-hmm. So I probably need to do that. That's an example of why I can't do that. Uh, I think this will work. Um, or I could give the full path to R, which would also be a good idea. There we go. Oh, and you can't uh, do a shell escape here. Uh, OK, so now we're going to do we don't have a reverse because um, we haven't saved this. So bc get r bc covid dot r. Oh, okay. Just needed a... Magic is happening. Magic has happened. And now if I've done this correctly, I should be able to say... And this is a data frame, not an array, which really annoyed the crap out of me. Um, this is an array. When you take just... I don't... This is really... I, I mean, I hate data frames. I get the feeling that I might like them once I understand R, but I, I, maybe I won't. Maybe it's just, you know, data frames are stupid. Okay. So what we're looking to do is a couple of things. We did get a plot going. Um, and I think the way we did that um, was like this. We, and I think we could probably just say plot days. Oh, we can't say plot days because it's not a numeric. Um, we, so this will just plot. This won't, this will work, but it'll be stupid. Oh, actually, that's okay. Um, so it's not stupid. Um, if we do this, the um, it'll be the exact same thing, but the deaths index field has. Well, that won't work. Um, I think maybe I actually did get it to work at one point, um, but I had to use a little bit more than that. I had to go quite into like uh, X Lab and stuff like that. I guess. Hmm. Oh, right. Once again, you can't plot a... Well, I think death's index might have the exact same issue, actually. Yep. 
Notice, by the way, that the uh, artificial name that they assign uh, to the uh, to the row column is identical because it's literally an index. So this should work. Yep. First of all, okay, good. Nope. This is what I mean. Okay. Did I do it again somehow? Oh, yes, I did. I meant to do it that way. So, so far, what we've learned is, is R sucks. Um, and it may suck even worse than Maxima and um, whatever the hell it was we used as an intermediary. Mathix, maybe. There, there's, a, there's a lot of suckage going on. Okay, so here's, again, and we could do this with a nice little xlab and stuff like that. So we could, let me go ahead and do this because I could have sworn I saved it, but maybe not. Um, ylab equals deaths. So there we have a nice little days versus deaths in Sweden for, for Corona. Uh, not all the deaths, people die of skiing accidents and all the, hang on, and all the types of things there. I probably should make a note of which ones of these things are working and which ones I put down and didn't work, but that's too much work. And now I want to see if I can do it with a logarithm, which is going to be kind of weird because some of the numbers are well, equal true. Okay, I think it's just capital true then. Mm, is it just log? Well, apparently not. Um, what the hell is this? Anyway. Um, let's see. So let's ask if we can do something with log. Okay. Let's ask what we can do with plot. I think there's a log. Oh, shit. Um. So apparently the thing we need to look at is par. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, each device. God, God damn it. Um. Just log. Oh, cool. And I don't know if we need to set yes or no there, but let's see what happens. So let's say uh, y log would be the one we're doing. Yeah. And I think. Hang on, is it a, is it a string? God damn. That is kind of annoying. Okay, apparently not. Uh, okay. Um, so maybe we just need to do y log equals true. What's cool is it accepted it, but it, it, this is clearly not a logarithmic plot. Um, okay, why don't you like that? I, and I could, of course, go into uh, Google, my good friend Google, and see what the hell's wrong, but I'm trying to see how self-documenting this piece of shit is. And clearly it's not. Very. Okay. Um, um, maybe there's some more on log. Okay, 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 here we go. Oh... That seems like the very stupidest way to do things, but of course, this is R. And invalid plot type. Okay, why not? Um, maybe I need to say scatter here, although that's still really, really bad. Dope. Okay. Let's maybe now go to our good friend Google. Log plot in R. Um, the problem is this probably is much more fancy than you need it. But it might have inside of the, the question the answer. That's fun. The word log doesn't appear anywhere in that question. 
Mm. Aha. Okay. So apparently it's log equal that you can assign. Maybe you can do both if you wanted to, but it's not what we want. Okay. Not why. Yay, that looks much more like a, uh, a logarithmic plot. Uh, with, of course, zero can never be on a logarithmic plot, but that, that's okay. It, it handled it. It, um, I want to say degraded, but I don't think that's the right word. It, 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 maybe that is the right word. So we will go ahead and do that. Now, the whole point of all this was to do um, linear and nonlinear regression like we did with uh, Maxima earlier. Um, and I have learned a little bit about that, and I think I didn't put some... Did I put some URLs in the, um, in readme.stream? I mean, that would be, like, way clever. Oh, wow. I did. I am just on top of things today. So these are just, like, basically the first two URLs I found, so it's not very exciting, because I try to do as little work as possible before and during the stream. Um, so this is, a, this is a, this is a basically, uh, let's see, nope. I'm not happy with it. Do not give you permission. But whatever. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I think it is... Uh, here we go. Yes. This is the kind of cool thing uh, that we need, but hang on one second because I think X, the, he's defining X and Y. So what we want... i got to be a little bit careful here. Let's do it for... Oh, shit. Do I have the whole world? got the whole world in my... He's got the whole wor world in his hands. I, I do not necessarily have the whole world, or even any portion of it in my hands. Um, okay. So... Now, the one thing I didn't check is if I have a death's world column. Uh, if not, we'll use the USA's data, but it would be nice um, to use world data if possible. Yep. I don't have it. I know I can get it. And um, now I'm kind of curious as to how I got it from BC COVID Mac. Because I definitely got it there. Maxima. COVID dot Mac. Okay. Um, okay, worldwide aggregated. Um... Okay, I had to do this a little bit differently in, in Maxima because it, it makes not much sense, but slightly more sense than, um, than R does. But they all suck. Everybody sucks. Every, the whole world sucks. All right, let's see if we can now get, um, call this, um, and this will be the worst possible name, of course, is going to be data2 equal read CSV, and we'll give it the whole path here. The only nice thing here is this will create a data frame without having to go through extra steps. Um, the only bad thing here is it sucks. All right, so let's do this, data2. Let's see what we get. Okay, so data2 is now a data frame. Let's see what the uh, columns are. Date, country, confirmed, recovered, deaths. So why did I want this? I think it's because there is a country called world. Um... Although the way this is looking, it doesn't look like there's a country called world. It's data too, but um, yeah, there there is presumably in there some place. Nope, there is not. And you can't really add up the data to get world because they get it from a different source. Is something I'm saying right now that might not be true. Oh yeah. Um. Okay, hang on. So now this is Matt 2. This is Matt, Matt, Matt. Oh no, here it is. This is Matt's 2. Um, so either it might be that there is a world, but it's not, it's not in alphabetical order, which is bad. Um, but let's do this. We will haul this being at least a little bit uh, consistent, we'll call this countries two. A list of countries from data two, which I think the only one I care about is what the fuck. Uh, 
I get the feeling this is going to be just different. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is... Wait, no. Um... Did I, was I looking at the wrong data? Yes, I was. I was looking at data, too. Okay. So I think this data might just be world data. Oh, yeah, it is. It is, because it only go, goes to 130 days. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So we actually already have what we need. It's data to deaths. And then we have to do this little fuckery with it to get it to do this. And can I plot this? I keep forgetting if I can plot one variable. Nice, I can. So that's the number of deaths um, according to thingamajiggy. Okay. Uh, according to... Um, Wherever I get the damn data from, I guess it's from two gits that presumably are sourced from CDC or WHO data, so we're good. Okay, so countries two equals zero to ten. Actually, no, we don't need that because we already have what we want. So now what we want, um, we need to create an index column for data two because right now everything in data two. Uh, is not a number, is not an integer. Uh, we have dates and these things, but we don't have anything that, give, we don't, we don't, we don't actually have this, which is what we want, which is stupid. Uh, but, um, fortunately we figured out how to do that earlier. Um... Oh, what is the length of data to? I think this is going to be correct. But I'm, I'm often wrong. Nope, because I got it wrong. That's what I meant. What happens if I put zero in here? Okay, no. And this is going to be the same length as days, but just in case it ever isn't, we actually get it from the data itself. Okay, so when you're fucking with your data try to use the data fuckery itself. Okay. So now we have data, which we have a nice index. Where is the index? Hang on. Hey. Did I add it to the wrong one? Hmm? Uh, confirm deaths. Oh, there it is. Increase. Okay. So if I say data to index, we should just see a list of numbers from zero to good, good deal, or one to 130, actually. Okay, so. <sighs> Refreshing beverage. Now we can do our linear regression uh, using um, the Y similar. Obviously, we should put this in, in uh, comment because we're not actually using that. So it's going to be LM, and Y is going to be uh, data to uh, deaths, but this fuckery as compared to data to index, similar fuckery. And again, I'm sure there's a better way of doing this. Let me guess, deaths is capitalized. I love myself. Okay. Uh, and I guess the other important thing to do here is actually not use... I'm trying to avoid using the stupid this thing uh, because it's it's not... Sta I mean, it's not how other languages do it and it's unnecessary. Okay, so what fit is, it's basically saying that it's... Um, uh, let me actually do this. Let me stir fit, which is a good way of Son of a bitch. That was way too much data. Um, so the linear regression is basically saying there's three, if you fit a line to this, um, there's 3,099 uh, deaths per day, but we start at negative 95,000. It's obviously not a very good fit. Uh, and I, I wasn't expecting it to be a very good fit. Okay, um, we could try fitting to other curves. I think the uh, square curve will fit better. And I think that's actually very sim simple. Oh, god damn it. Seriously? Can I say x squared? 
please tell me I can say x squared. Okay. I'm down with that jigginess. But can I do this? This will break it. Alright, there is a way to define functions in R, and I've actually done it because I have my, um, my little um, Rosetta program that does print things in R. Um, I don't know if it'll still be my tent. It probably won't be. Okay. Uh, Rosetta. Hello? Uh, oh, Lang Convert is the magical name of the actual program. And then we can do less star dot r. Okay. Okay, so it is function, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's what we needed. So what we can do here is fuck ourselves. Um, f equals function x to x squared. Yep, that's not how you can do that. Um, let's do it this way. Wait, what? There is none in there. That's very curious. I'm going to do this for right from the start because I'm actually really curious about this. Function x goes to x squared, but the error message is unexpected blah. And it isn't even there. So it uh, it is Pomodoro time, and I'm going to take it this time back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we are back. Okay, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. I think this is. Okay, so maybe I'm just writing the function wrong. Function blah. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, it's function, oh, okay, 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 it's like this. So actually, could I just say that, uh, can I define it as a function without having to do this bizarreness? Can I do this? Okay, so apparently... I have to say f equals function that takes x and returns, this probably won't work. But anyway, at least it'll fail better than unexpected symbol in f return. What happens if we just do this? Okay. Uh, uh. Can I not do that? Nope. All right, this might be one of the times I have to use the stupid operator. Nope. Okay. 
case. What the hell am I doing wrong here? Do I need to put my returny thingy in, in parentheses? Oh, because return is a... Okay, return is apparently an operator here, so you actually do need to put it in parentheses. So f of 5. Yay. What if I do this? Okay, so this is this is useful to have as a note. This is how you define functions. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to do something a little bit weird here that is, and I'm going to overwrite fit because it doesn't really matter. Um, apparently, I, whatever the hell I did here was not right, but anyway. Uh, oh, this is why, oh yeah, there's the tilde. Well, mama. Okay. Now here, what he's doing is, notice that he's saying poly, by the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's an arbitrary polynomial in two degrees. Fitting to x squared is very different. They're not allowed to have any x terms in there. So let's see what poly x2 is, which I'm hoping it is an arbitrary polynomial in... Well... Really? Really, really? Oh, raw equals true. Is this how we do the, the magic fuckery? I can I can handle this. I can handle this. So what we want here is a function x that returns. How about that? How do you like that? Huh? 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 I mean, the problem is I won't be able to evaluate it because um, I didn't assign it to anything. But you know, that's just a minor issue. So it is g. So it is g of one. The degree must be less than or equal to the number of units. What the hell is that? Oh, actually, sorry, I meant G. Okay, so give it three arguments does give me. Yeah, go fuck yourself. So can I do this? Holy crap. Um, okay, so basically if I set poly a list of, um, a list of numbers, a, a vector, it will find a, which this is presumably, um, the best fit, uh, two-dimensional polynomial, um, shiny. All right, what if I send it something that's actually easier for it to, to deal with, which is the actual square numbers itself? Um, yeah, this is good stuff. I have no idea what the fuck that means. Okay, let me try this. Let me reassign G to be just the linear operator. Um, which technically doesn't need a, ooh, gotta be careful here, this might not be what I want. Uh, cause poly x apparently is a polynomial, um, yeah. So apparently if I do poly x it means a, um, it's different from x. This means the best fit polynomial in x. This is... These, these would be really useful to know what the hell this is. Let me assign it a temporary variable. Not that it's going to help, but... Yep. What is the type of... It's, is it a fucking data frame? That probably doesn't even make sense. Uh, this probably doesn't make sense because it's not an array, but you never know with this piece of shit. Okay. So what is T2001? Okay, that actually makes sense. Okay, that's good. So we have like four of those. Five will probably break it. Okay, good. Um, the COF should give me the... 
Oh. Why are there four of them, though? Subscript out of bounds. Okay, very not cool. Wait, how can it be out of bounds? It's one. Uh. And it is co-Fs. Zero? Two? I don't know. Help me. Help me, Tito. That was probably racist. Okay. Maybe I should read up on what the hell the results mean. So this is actually cool. I can do it. I have no idea what it means, though. Um, generate range of three. Okay. LM polynomial. Now, what does raw equals true mean? Is that really something that I need here? Um... Let's see what this does. Correct, because I meant for this to be a vector. Okay, oh, those are the, el okay, these are just the elements being spit back out at me. Degree one. So what this is, okay, we have, okay, so T2011 is just the number one. Uh, I don't think it has, no, good, doesn't have more than one element. And now, what if I do, this won't work, or will it? So it's ripped out of bounds, okay. Yep, no idea what the hell that does. Okay, so this is cool, I can do a regression, but I don't understand the results, which is, which is normal. Um, let's see. Shiny. Okay, so this is just plotting the original data. Um... So whatever the hell you get out of it, you can send it to a um, to a predict object. And all right, well let's do that. So whatever the hell this fucker is, predict zero, one, two, three, four. Let's see you do that. I don't think it's going to work though. Yep, I almost sure this has to be a column vector. Um, a vector. Okay. Um. I, I forgot what my original data was. <laughs> ah. Okay. So this is the best fit vector for the inputs 1, 2, 3, and 5. So if I give it 1, 2, 3, and 5 and ask for a prediction... I should get back. That's actually really, really good for something that is of a very low degree. What if I give it 20 with this number? Okay, not good. So T2009 is apparently very stupid. Um, and I'm sure this won't let me do this because X is, yeah, fuck you. So is this really a perfect predictor of X because Whatever the hell it is, I... 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, degree 1. Um, there should be no degree 1 polynomial. Oh, actually there might be. No, because the slope of this has to be 1. Um, so maybe we should learn about regression in... This is, might be a little bit too advanced for us. Um, ooh. That looks very promising. Okay, um... That is not what I was looking for. In fact, that is not even close to what I was looking for. Okay, so something's wrong here. Summary. What? So this should be giving me like a ton of information. But maybe I screwed that up, so we're going to start over again. And we are going to source our data. 
and we're going to do a linear regression fit and then we're gonna ask for is it summary it is summary of fit shiny okay coefficients This is good shit. Um, be really cool if it told us what the um, what the formula was, and kind of does that for him. Oh no, hang on. Um, so does this something I've got to type in, or is this something summary fit should give me? Tell, oh, here it is. Formula equals deaths. Okay, so this is how it was called. These are the residuals. These are not the coefficients. Um, so this gives me a lot of information on on the. Um, why is there more than one residuals? Okay, min. Um. Residual stand. Okay, so this is good shit, but um, it's stupid. No, um, so this is very advanced, actually, which is very nice. Um, but it's too advanced because I don't understand it. So let's go back to. Oh, what do I want to do here? Let's go to this. Go to this. Oh, this might be useful. Um, this is multiple linear regression. We actually only have one data, but that's probably okay. Ooh, shininess. Let's probably note some of this down. Do I have it actually noted down that summary is a useful function to have? Yeah. Summary fit, but it's kind of unclear here. Coefficients fit. And I don't know if they're going to abbreviate it. Nope, it is coefficients fit. Okay. Intercept and slope. I mean, that's what I'm guessing they are, right? I mean, I don't know for sure. Um, I could plot them to see what happens. Uh, okay, but let's see what else is useful. The coefficients tell me a little bit about it. Oh, fitted fit. That's really useful. That's the exact thing that I kind of want. Yeah, that's the thing I want to plot. Oh, it is a line, obviously. And now I should be able to plot it versus... Fitted... F Ooh, gotta be careful. Can I plot more than one thing at one time? Probably not. Um... So this would be Death's World 1. Yeah. Wait, what? Data 2? No. That can't be right. Uh, what did I have over here? Oh, it is Data 2 Deaths. Oh, right, right, because we don't have world data in our original data. We just need to do this. Okay. Okay, so that's plotting one against the other, which is not what I wanted. Um, I can I do this? Yep. But, I came prepared. Can I do it using a vector? <whistles> nice. Um, not exactly what I was looking for. Um, but I think with a little work, we can get that to do what we want. So this is... The first one is just saying C fitted, fitted fit, um, and the second one I think we can have. Oh shit! Hang on. Ah, uh, how do we specify parameters without creating another element in our vector? Well, let's see if we can put parentheses around this sucker. Yeah, so we can probably. So data two deaths here is the 
y coordinate. What we want as the um, x coordinate is something. I think I do have days defined here. Yeah, I do. Uh, nope, 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 that's wrong because it's not an index. I need an index. Uh, I need data to index comma one. If this works, I'll be fucking impressed with myself. Okay. So I could plot just this. That should work. Let's let's see what we're doing here. Whoa. Fuck, I always do that. Okay. So we do have that. But now we treat that as one data element, will that work? Okay, still works. And now, can we do the second element of the column being fitted fit? Um, okay, hang on. Um, column? Oh, no, shit, shit, shit. So what I wanted... So this works, but now let's put the um, the whole first. Th so this is C. This is two elements in a column, but now we're going to say this is just one element in your column. Um, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. Okay, so that didn't work. So I guess we need, um, let's see. That's not what I wanted. I think the other one, though, did show us how to plot more than one thing at once. Um, so let's maybe go... Um, Let's go back to Mr. Tang's blog, Dr. Tang, which is a funny name in English. Okay, so how did he do this? Um, he did a plot. Oh, wow, can you, if you keep doing plots, can you just... Okay. So if you do more plots, apparently... Um, they'll just add to each other. That's kind of a nice feature if it works. Okay. And now I would like to plot fitted a fit. Yeah, that's that's not what I wanted. I did not want you to replace one plot with the other. I wanted you to overlay the mofos. So how does he, he apparently does this using some weird lines thing. Um, and I don't want to do that. I want to use a simpler function if possible. 
Um, also, it would be a good time to figure out what the hell Polly does. Um... Okay. Um... Well, that's not helpful. Just amazing how fast you go from easy to incomprehensible. Um, so that's not helping me at all. Um, so now I guess we could try doing... Uh, I think I really get the feeling this isn't going to work. But of course it does. Um, so tell me a little bit about fit. Uh, how I got there. It'd be nice to know what the hell this was doing. Uh, anyway, let's let's plot fitted fit. Okay, that's that's this is a uh, second degree function, and now because we really can't do anything else. Um, Let's plot this, of course, and let's see if we can, so we got this, we got this, how is this different? That didn't work. Um, that did work, so we could blink tag between them, rather blink plate between them. There's this, which was better, A or OK, so look at this. It's actually not a bad, not a bad residual. And it's not perfect, obviously, because we have a lot of zeros here. Um, but let's see. Uh, uh huh. Still don't know what the hell. Well, okay, hang on. Coefficients of the fit are. I guess one thing that's kind of throwing it off is the fact that I've given it this hideously long name. Um, so this is the zero. This is the ec the zeroth coordinate. This is the one, and this is the two. Um, so it's this times x squared. Let's actually do that um, to see if I'm I'm right about this. Plus this times x. plus this as a constant. And we're going to say that um, it's definitely going to bug me about x slim. x goes from, this is not going to work um, because it doesn't, it wants, it wants, um, what does it want? Does it want this? Okay. Oh, man. So it wants the raw function, which I can probably give it, actually. Function that takes x and returns this piece of shit. And then from 1 to 10, just for testing. Unexpected numeric constant in plot function Oh, hang on. If this works, I will be fucking surprised. Oh, fuck, it worked. Okay, and we're actually going to the length of days, which is... And then just looking at this, I know this is wrong. Uh, because this is going up to... this. Everyone in the world is dead now. Uh, and even allowing for bad fitting. 
So maybe I got that backwards. Maybe the X intercept, but that that should just be the fucking intercept. Hang on. Okay. The X intercept is uh, this is um, ten thousand right here. So twenty, thirty, forty thousand. Am I right about that? Hang on. No, it's 100,000. Sorry, that makes more sense. This is 100,000 because 10 to the 6 is a million. This is 400,000. Okay. So according to this, the x-intercept is 100,000, uh, which is clearly not the case. Uh, the x-intercept is... Can I, I cannot zoom in on this, unfortunately. Um, okay. Uh... Um, let's see. So, I, I, I know it's stupid that we're trying to d divine a function backwards from, from fit. Um, so the cool thing is I really fully don't understand where this number is coming in, because this is the, the value at zero, which would be the constant term. And this looks like it's right around 10,000, very roughly speaking. Um, and just none of these are giving me that. So I think maybe we better go back and look a little bit uh, harder at this. Uh, actually, we might want a tutorial on... Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. We might need uh, more of a tutorial... Um, Let's talk about linear regression first, although it's not the only kind of regression. Ooh, shiny. Um, but YouTube. Uh, so is this where we were? Well, obviously, we were here at one point before. This looks like maybe it's where we need to be. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, epsilon are the, uh, the error terms, the residuals, as I would call them the intercept, b2 is the slope, regression coefficients, yes, they could also be considered that, and the, these are the residuals. Okay, not bad. What the hell is that? Masks, I think. Okay. Okay, why don't we go ahead and use their data set? So we'll, we'll look at the, who's gonna drive you home tonight? That's a song by the cars. It's not even my favorite song by the cars. But let's see what this is. Okay, speed and distance. I don't know what the hell that means, but okay. Um, it's a good idea to analyze the graphic analysis when co correlation study. Okay. Um, okay. Um, uh, typically, for each of the individual plots are shown in the scatter plot, box plot, density plot. Uh, fuck you, plot. Fuck you, add. Oh, wow. Can't make it go away. Unfortunately, I don't have blocking turned on for this, but anyway. Uh, this is really bad. At least I have it silenced, not that it matters. Jesus Christ. This is why ads suck. Um, okay, this is, this is nice. This is a nice scatter plot. And we'll do it even though he does it there. Oh, wow. That didn't... I understand where the dots are coming from. How does he getting the line, though? Let's, let's take a look here. Apparently... What the hell? All right. Apparently, this is really unhappy. This is... This is bullshit. Can I report this ad for being stupid? No, apparently, because the report doesn't work either. There we go. Um, so what is scatter smooth? Um, okay, the smoothing line there, so that may be what that does. Um, 
So can they do scatter without smooth? Scatter unsmoothly? Uh, apparently not. So what happens if I just do scatter? Oh, well, fuck you. Okay, so apparently the only thing you do with scatter is scatter smooth. Scatter plot with a... What the hell? This is not a line. This is clearly not a line. Someone is playing shenanigans. Um, okay, not really linearly. Um, so how are they drawing this smoothing line, though? I'm not happy with this. Um, let me load in our data. Um, I think this is what I wanted to look at. Now, I'm going to try. I know it's not going to work. I know it's not. I'm going to try to do a scatter smooth plot on this as a data frame. Oh, cool. That did work. Shouldn't have. Um, so I guess this thing is like a, like maybe a, a moving average or something. I don't know what the hell this is actually. Um, but it's shiny. All right, so we'll continue using our own data because I'm bored. Um, okay, so oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, hang on. Box plot. Uh, okay. This is not what I'm looking to do. I do not want to see, because I know what the data is, and, and the one of them is just literally, but let's see what this does. Um, so I guess I could do a box plot of days. This is going to be... What is days? Oh shit, that's what I meant to do. Um, Well, let me do it. Of, let me do it of our. Once again, hoping it'll ignore the. Uh, yeah, but this is not useful to us. Um, and I guess this is going to be the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so things like box plot at least understand data frames are stupid. Okay, speed, distance, like that I don't care about. Um. Check to see if the response variable is close to normality, but it shouldn't be in our case. Um, this is good. They just pull up libraries that have no meaning. Okay. Is the, what is density? No, it's defined. I want the density. I don't even know what the hell that means. Argument X must be numeric. Okay, hang on. Um, that's not numeric. Um, the only thing I can think of is th this density function does not like needs uh, needs the just this. Yep, there it is. And. That's a ba that's actually the width of a band, not not how much data we're getting through. Uh, it's breaking this up into bands. So let's go ahead and put this down as a piece of shit that we could use. That is probably not useful. Minimum. Uh, no, that's not the minimum of that data. I don't know why you're breaking it up into X and Y coordinates, because I haven't really done anything like that. Um, I mean, I'm literally following this example here. I mean, just one little part of it. 
Um, so it's a frequency thing, I guess, but... So it tells me the frequency. Uh. Oh, this is a fictitious... Can I plot this? Hopefully. Yeah, I don't really understand this. This does say that most days the deaths were very... Yeah, the deaths were close to zero and they were very high, but this is not useful for linear data. This is not... I mean, it's nice to learn this stuff, but... Uh, this is what we need. That's what we're looking for. That's our baby there. So it's still not going to be very good because it's not really a linear uh, representation, but it, this will at least tell us something useful. So what we're looking for is, and I know this is just, okay, now I'm going to see if we can do this again without having to, um, there's a 0.917 correlation. Um, bullshit. I, I, they, okay, they may not mean linear, though. They might mean a non-linear correlation. In other words, um, but I mean, each day has a, has a separate value, so in theory, the correlation is one. I give you the day, you can give me the deaths. Um, but this apparently has a different meaning. That's a very high cor I did not expect that high of a correlation. Um, okay, Pomodoro time. I'll be back in two and two unless I kill myself. We are almost back. And we are back. Okay. Okay. That looks like they're doing a much better job. So we're not going to call it linear mud. We're going to call it T2042 because we're weird. We're also going to use the equal sign, uh, linear. So this is a little bit different because um, I guess we can say deaths versus index, and our data is data two. Um, th we could just give the full names like we did before, but maybe this is make it a little bit nicer. Okay, and then print is another good command actually. Okay. Um, 3099 times the index uh, minus that number there. Um, again, it, it's not a great linear fit, which is why we're getting kind of funky, uh, funky data like this. Um, all right, let's see how we would plot it against the original data. Uh, okay, good stuff. Um, Intercept, these are also called the beta coefficients. Uh, okay. Um, 
Okay, we can do a summary. I'm, 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 I'm down. I'm jiggy with that. I don't even know what that means. Okay. Oh, the residuals are signed rigid residuals, so they're not like absolute value. Um, okay, let's see if we can figure out what that means. Um, okay, and because we only have one variable, this isn't going to be the same for us, I think. Um, yeah. And the p-value is, is very, it's essentially zero. Now, hang on. This is the p-value. Uh, and it is very, very low. It is essentially zero. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. This is weird, because linearly speaking, it's not a great predictor. But let's keep reading. So this is actually for something a little bit different than what we're doing. Um, all right, I think we already did the summary of this, right? That was the summary. Yeah. Apparently we can get stuff out of the summary, but this is not what we're looking for. The R squared, yeah, so this the R squared here is pretty low, so I, I'm surprised it's not lower, a 0 0.8402. And I don't know why it's saying multiple R squared, because there's only one variable here, one input, one output. Um, Okay, adjusted R square is shouldn't be any bigger. Um, wow. Okay. Um. This is this is not cool. Um, Jesus Christ! No, you don't do that. Although what we did is we actually did look at the um, the last few days because it's more of a line if you only look at the last few days than if you look at from the beginning of time. Um, but this is not what we're looking for. This is way way complicated. Advanced regression models. Okay, I don't know if I... I mean, advanced, I'm guessing, is going to be... Um, uh, is going to be against... Well, let's, let's do one. Let's plunge the depths here. Uh, LM data to deaths, comma, one is going to be... Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Um... Now we might, because we already said we have the data model called um, data two, we might have to, we might not have to put it like quite this horribly. So if we said deaths is proportional, <coughs> excuse me, um, is proportional to, um, you know, we may have been using a, a, a level two model, which we don't want, is proportional to um, index. That is how we would do that, and I think that's good enough. I'm going to go ahead and reload in just a sec here. Um, let me source the data again. Okay. Oh, shit. Fuck. Yeah, I probably should have uh, stopped somewhere before that. Um, yeah, that was, that was bad of me. Yeah, let me, let me maybe comment out the crap we're not using. Um, 
If only there was a way to say, stop what the fuck you're doing and get back to the command and stop loading at this point. Uh, I think this is going to work. Okay. Didn't break anything, at least. Uh, so now we can do this. We'll actually see if data2 is defined. Okay, good. And it even has an index. So this should work. Invalid terms in model formula. So do we have a data2 death? We should. And do we have a data2 index? Yep, to do. Oh, wait. Do I not need quotations? Because these. Oh, okay, there we are. Because they, these are actually already variable names implicitly because they're part of a data model. Um, that doesn't help me at all. Okay, fit. Tell me a little bit about fit. Okay, coefficient. Um, now, fitted fit should tell me what the... There we are. And plot fitted fit should... There we go. Um, so that actually worked out okay. Now... What if we want the logarithm of deaths to be proportional to the index? This is how we do more complex... Mo oh, shininess. Um, that's interesting. Okay, let me, let me look at that real quick. Uh, let's plot fitted fit. I mean, oh, actually, let me do this. Fitted fit is not going to be the... It's going to be the log deaths, obviously. Uh, so what we can do here is... What the hell is log... Okay, it's the base. Um, so I should be able to do this... Um, and I get the feeling this is not going to be a very good fit. Um, which it's not. But, let me actually just plot the, um, the, the logarithm of the deaths, which, which is still not going to be a great fit, but I mean, it, the fact that I'm forcing it to be linear, um, makes it difficult. Okay. And now, if I were to log plot, um, na, 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 na. data two deaths. This is not going to work. Yep. This is going to work. But what I actually want to do is I want to show the log plot of this. So I need to do um, x log equals true. That didn't do anything. I actually got x log working, so let me see how I did that. If I bothered to write it down. Was it log x? Oh, log equals the variable that I want. And it's actually y that I want to take the logarithm of. Ah, uh, this language is going to kill me. Okay. So, that's how it looks um, as a log plot. And now I can log plot the other x, but I can do this, and then I can also say log equals y. And I really need to fix this so we can look at two plots at once. So there's this plot, and now, magic, there's this plot, which is actually kind of similar. I mean, it gets really way too big as you go, because it's you know, increasing exponentially, by definition. But I'm actually kind of curious now. X of fitted fit should not be that bad. Why was that horrible? Um... And let's see, data to deaths, 130, nope. Hmm, this 
about four times too big, but actually in the logarithmic world, that's not too bad. It's not even uh, e squared, so so I guess that's how that's working. But obviously, it's not a great it's not a great plot. Um, so this is all linear regression. Now the question is, can I do it with multiple uh, variables? So let me let me actually do this real quick. Um, So I want to say that the uh, number of deaths is squared. No, I don't want to say that at all. Um, right, this is another way of saying that the uh, the number of deaths is proportional to the exponent of the of the uh, of the index. In fact, let's do that because uh, maybe it's clearer this way. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, so if we do this, we, we're f we're flipping it. So it should be the same thing. Um, but we're just flipping where we're doing our, our uh, change of variable. Um, that's not what I expected. That is very strange. Wow. Now, technically, this is... Um, So this is uh, exponential. In oh, okay, okay. That's not because um, yeah, that's actually a bad idea. <laughs> Let's pretend I didn't do that. Um, okay, so we want to say the number of deaths increases as the square of the day. I mean, not. We want to see if that's a good, uh, reasonable thing to say, and it's not. But let's take a look. What's weird here is I don't think you get to use, yeah, what the fuck? Oh, right, 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 because this is now going to be death squared. Uh, so we actually want the square to this. That's probably okay. Um, and we can plot that. Uh, you know what? That's not what I wanted to do. I'm not saying it's increasing to the square root of the day. I'm saying it's increasing with the day squared. So this is actually, uh, let's see. I mean, I could put index squared here, but then we'd have to um, retro adjust. So I could just do this as square root of deaths. And that's probably what I meant to do. Um, that looks weird. So this should be, these are the square root of the death numbers. These are the actual death numbers. And this is what they would look like if you plotted them, which is actually, I think we already got this uh, earlier, um, uh, which is actually somewhat close, I think. I should be able to get the residuals out of my fit. Um, okay, well, let's see what I can get. What other things would I get out of my fit? Um, summary, coefficients. Um, well, okay, for fitted fit is this, and I can subtract it from the square root of the actual values, which is data two deaths. And that is the uh, difference in square. Yeah, okay, that's okay. That's the difference in the square roots. There's something obviously I, sh I shouldn't be having to do this. We could, um, um, oh, what we could do is this actually square the fitted fit and then just subtract it from the number of deaths. So this is how bad the estimate is. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, that's better. Uh, how bad the estimate is in actual numbers. So, the estimate is a little bit, let's see, the, yeah, is a little bit low right now, but it's, well, it was a day 100, but it's getting back there. A little bit high originally, um, then went back to being very high, and so this is actually not a terrible model. Um, but I mean, it's, if you assume that it's going to continue, we're in trouble, though, because the formula here is 5.526x squared. Um, No, hang on. 
So fitted fit should have a negative one thousand. Nope, didn't work. Um, six oh three. Uh, so I'm trying to see how much it's going to increase uh, the um, the next day. Uh, and and the problem was with x squared is it's actually going to increase faster as it gets bigger. So it's five point five two six x squared. Actually, I think we can just do this. Um, so this should give us the actual number. This should give us six oh three point whatever um, the actual number. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. It's the yeah, and this number squared. Why does that not match exactly? Uh, oh, I guess because I'm rounding off. Okay, that's fine. So this number squared would be the number of deaths uh, on day 130. And this number squared would be the number of deaths on tomorrow. It's about 7,000, but the problem here is if we go up to like day 65, this number is just going to increase. Um, not that much, actually, but... But yeah, it'll be ten times as much. So this is this is um, this is very ugly. I'm also not really happy about this. Let's look at advanced regression models. Okay, well that they don't exist. Um, ooh, this tutorials point might be useful if it's free. Um, okay, da -da -da -da, this is good. Pomodoro time. Let me check something real quickly though. Um, I've been going for about one and a half hours, so I'm going to skip this Pomodoro, but I will probably quit in the next, um, 20 minutes or so. Um. Okay. So let's go for another 20 minutes or so. So the general mathematical regression is that. Um. Okay, what I'm trying to do is how to figure out if it's something not quite as simple as LM to the X. Maybe I need more than, uh, maybe I need something bigger than LM. Maybe LM is not enough. Um, so maybe that's the problem here. I'm looking, LM is the simplest way you can do regression. But it might not be the best way. Uh, linear models, okay. Although AOV may provide, okay. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, we'll use a subset. Um, okay. Um, Um, okay, so this is kind of what we've already done. Um, okay, Jesus. Okay, so what we get back from this sucker is residuals. That's what I want. Residuals of fit. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, I think that's the residuals with a modified y value. In fact, I'm sure it is. But that's still useful. Um, fitted values, rank, weights. Um, okay, with time series, because time series, okay, so because with time series, the x value is just increasing steadily. Uh, but this is just terrible. Okay, so not helpful. Um, technically, what I'm doing is still called linear regression uh, because we are adding up. Oh, actually, yeah, hang on. Do we do that? Um, um, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, well, let's do polynomial fitting in R. Because that's really what we're kind of, that's the first thing we're trying to do. Well, 
Well, that looks really beautiful. Too bad it's YouTube. Okay. Sometimes, however, it doesn't work. Nope, I'm not going to do that. Um... All right, fine, but I'm not really getting it. Um, okay, whoa. Okay. Again, we're not interested in r doing that. Um... So that generates a, a vector from 0 to 20 in steps of point 1. <laughs> okay. So they're creating fake data to do all this. And they're taking a lot of time to do it, by the way. Um, so they've got fake data where they've added... Um, okay. Ooh. Now this might be interesting. Um, okay, okay. So that's how, that's okay, that looks pretty good actually. God fucking damn it. I swear to God, you sons of bitches. All right, so what we wanna do here is, de this is actually looks a lot better than what I wanted to do. Um, let's see if we can fit it into a, um, uh, square width, but we're going to allow uh, a linear term in addition to a square term. This is just not a square term. Uh, let's see what this does. And now we should have three terms. There we go. Um, that looks... Uh, that looks very strange, actually. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Um, uh, let's, so that actually, okay. I think we've seen this one more than once. But why does, so when I look at fit, whatever it's giving me in terms of these coefficients clearly is not the, the actual coefficients of what it's using. Um... So I don't know what these numbers mean. Now, coefficients maybe will give me what I want. But they're giving me the same thing, which I expected. But, but also, something is wrong then. So let's see. Let's go a little bit further here. Blah, 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 blah. Residuals. Um... Wait. Okay, how do you get i values in uh, oh one first quarter? So this is if you just do fits fits something. Uh, let's do this. Maybe it's print fit. That's not very helpful. So what are you using to get this magic data on your oh summary? Okay, here we go. Um, okay, let's see what the hell that means. Um, wait, 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 I don't know what my parameters are, though. Okay. That is a very strange thing to want to plot. But let me do that, actually. I, I mean, fitted model I already know how to plot, so that's fitted fit. And that's the, uh, that's the guess model, the square, the square term. Um, residuals is the difference, which we already looked at this, too. It's actually a pretty good fit. Uh, but now, how did you do this magic? And actually, what the hell did it do? 
Um, oh, that's just stupid. Um, so that plots the residuals against the fit, which makes no sense. Um, okay, so apparently lines is the way to do this. Once you have a plot, you have to do lines. Um, okay, I can deal with that. So I'm going to do a plot fitted fit. That's just the... Uh, what we've seen before, the prediction. Okay. Um, and then what does lines do? Let's let's take a look at lines. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay. Boy, that's not helpful. But let's see what we can do with it. So lines, um, this, again, this is not really an XY coordinate, let's see what this does. Nothing. Okay. Oh. Okay, now apparently you can only add lines to an existing plot. Uh, that did nothing. Um, this might do what I need. Nope, still didn't work. Um, so let's do data to index. Nope index and then this and then that oh data to index sorry okay and that also does nothing um okay can i just do this i get the feelings that are complain that these are not right that these need to be c vectors which are different Um, okay, what did that do? Nothing. This is good. So far, it's, it's working very poorly. Um, okay, let's see if we can find an example of lines that actually does work. Although, I, I'm guessing we can't. Um... Coordinates, vectors of plots to join. Oh, good, there's no example. That's, that's always useful. Uh, let's see. Um, do I need type? It, I mean, it doesn't look like I need type. But hey, what the hell? If we're going to fuck with it. I don't know. Okay, that didn't work. So maybe S for scatter. Yep. Nope, nothing. Um, so apparently I have no idea how to use the fucking lines. Oh, this is very frustrating. Um, and apparently everybody who works with R just immediately goes to, to fuck words. They're not really interested in doing the simple things. Okay, I think, uh, like I said, I'm not going to go, uh, I was going to stop within 20 minutes. Um, thank you for watching the stream, and goodbye for now.